This isn't the first time Kirsty Messenger spent some of her Christmas in hospital. Her one-year-old son Ethan was born 15 weeks early and has a serious bowel condition. He's spent almost half of his life on the wards with mum, who has five other children, by his side. It's emotional, it's stressful. We're now sitting here thinking, am I going to be home for Christmas? It's the first year our four-year-old understands what Christmas is. He's very excited and thinking, but mummy's not going to be there. Ethan is just one of dozens of children who will spend some of the festive period on the Buxton ward at the Norfolk and Norwich Hospital. In the room next door is Fergus, who broke his femur after falling over at school and had to have an operation ten days before Christmas. It was the end of break at school and I was just going in and um, I was in a rush so I, was, I just started running and I slipped and um, I had fractured the top of my hip bone. It certainly meant that Fergus has had an early Christmas present so um, the phone that he was going to get for Christmas has um, suddenly appeared a lot earlier than he was expecting so um, there's a positive for Fergus. And Fergus isn't the only one with early presents. The ward's storeroom is overflowing with hundreds of gifts, the result of another successful public appeal. About 12 members of staff will be working on the wards on Christmas Day and they'll be doing everything they can to make it special for the youngsters they're caring for. It tends to be very busy because obviously it's that time of year when we get poorly babies in but we try and generally be jolly about it and we get lots of Christmas presents and um, especially Christmas Day we get um, obviously for poorly children here we try and get them home if we can then they come back in the evening but um, it's a generally a good spirit, so staff are in good spirits and we give them Christmas presents and um, we try and get one of our consultants dressed up as Santa and if they've got children they bring in little elves, dress up as elves and then they go round to all the children and deliver the presents. As for Kirsty, she's praying they'll be out in time for the family Christmas she's dreamed of. But she says even if that doesn't happen, the kindness of the staff will make sure there's something to celebrate. She don't want to be sat here thinking we're going to be on our own. And even come Christmas Day, there's a lot of people that come and visit. We've been in over Christmas and you get lots of people turn up and the children get presents and the staff are all involved. And it's not some way where you just sit and think it's another day. Everyone deserves something and somebody at Christmas, whether it's a five-minute visit or uh, a gift just given to them, just to say other people are caring. Rob Setchell, Mustard TV, at the Norfolk and Norwich Hospital.